It's that time of the year. It's time for the bullshit known as voting. Here's the deal. Just gonna jump right into it. Voting is bullshit. It's bullshit to delude the indoctrinated American masses into believing that they actually participate in the political process. If you look at the amount of money that they put into marketing people to vote, you'll realize that the reality is if they put out that much effort into trying to make you believe something, then it's probably a goddamn lie. We all know once upon is vetted by the white supremacist oligarchs. Then, and only then, do they stand a chance to get elected, aka selected. Once in office, they work lock and step to maintain the status quo. Because at the end of the day, it's just entertainment. The election process is entertainment. Politicians are a buffer zone executing the will and the wishes of the white supremacist oligarchs agenda. All you see is spin, money, profit, cult of personality, and outright lying, while beating the war drums and pushing initiatives against the public's interest. This is all in an effort to keep real truths from reaching the general public. Like America being behind all the terrorists in the Middle East, and the real Syrian military finding weapons from America in terrorist seized areas. The White Helmets staging another fake chemical weapons attack as we speak. The CIA funneling weapons to terrorists and drugs around the world via Turkish and Silkway Airlines. The fact that cops murder thousands of people in America every year. They don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. And when we bring it up, what happens? People get flagged, can't talk about the ethno state, slaughtering innocent people, and having a massive sex trade, and then hiding uh, sex criminals in their country so they can't get extradited. I'm pretty sure, old boy, that's where he really is. He's in the ethno state hanging out. But anyway, the fact is, voting is a reassurance ritual. That's all it is. It's a reassurance ritual that maintains the illusion of inclusion that the white supremacist oligarchs use to pacify the masses essentially so that they don't get attacked before they can get to their bunkers under their golf courses run by the military that hide the truth of the past by only allowing certain bloodlines to even be members. Voting, sports, celebrity, all these things are used to distract you from slowing economy, massive job epidemics, racial strife, and decaying infrastructure. An insanely large class gap in artificial debt that allows the elite to control you so you can't use your wealth to fight your back as groups. People always, I always talk about myself. Blacks need to build an economic base. I said it in the past because at some time in history you had a chance. If you built an economic base before the country goes to shit, and I said this before the uh, economic downturn, if you watch those really old videos, that's what that was talking about. If you built an economic base, when the economy goes to shit, as long as you have your own insulated community, integrated into the mainstream economy your money will circulate so it doesn't really feel like there's a big economic downturn for you for your own community that's what happened with the Asians but blacks never learn and blacks have always tried to get on the code with the white race and I've already made a video about that probably deleted I gotta check I think it's called blacks are always trying to get on their code somewhere out here anyway yeah it's, it, 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 that's what it is.
making sure you can't do anything. See, your fake selection is just a tool to, pay, yeah, to play with the public's rage, keeping you compliant with their authority via these proxies. Political proxies that rile up your, uh, your belief systems. That's what they do. If you believe in nonsense like Christianity or some other dumbass spirituality, they tackle that. If they can't get that, they talk about being gay. Just nonsense. That doesn't affect you. That doesn't matter. Because, I mean, spirituality is nonsense. But in reality, what spirituality does is it nullifies certain medical breakthroughs. So if you create a medicine using stem cells from aborted fetuses that start curing diseases, what do you start to do? Because it's going to fuck up the insulin industry since it's curing people with diabetes? Well, it's simple. You start talking about abortion and, and, and women's rights and all this other crap and you move the goalpost so far away from the original topic that nobody even knows what the hell's going on. That's how these assholes work. And then you're over there, you're fighting over these which pawns are the corporate and oligarch elite get in office to steal your money, invade your privacy, kill you with impunity via race soldiers who are often white nationalists, and undermining your freedoms on top of making you pay to express your constitutional rights. All while burdening you with debt so you're too distracted to focus on them. Too distracted to find ways around their horseshit system. You should be out crowdfunding money to buy the things you want. Creating and working with grassroots organizations to deal with the problems like homelessness and justice. And, and, and uh, what the hell is that? Food insecurity. While opting out of paying into their system. When they come to collect, aka steal. Like I said, niggity jiggities should have done this with an economic base and armed militarized culture after World War One. Honestly, that's why they started taking out black soldiers when they got back. And that's why they took out the African Legion. That's also why they never talk about the African Legion and when I bring it up. They say it's hate speech and it's citing terrorism. Like if you if you talk about neo about about Jews fucking up neo Nazis, I guarantee your bottom dollar, they ain't gonna block you, and they ain't gonna ban you. But when you talk about blacks crunching up the Ku Klux Klan via the African Legion back in the day, oh, they, you can't talk about that. You gotta talk about some spineless, delusional coward having a dream after being paid five a hundred and fifty thousand dollars by the government with six other clowns. You can talk about that all day. But like I said, it doesn't matter. We all know that Garvey and the Legion were the only ones who tried when they were body in the clan. And we all know you have rights. Huey Newton Club. But ultimately, the point is, your vote doesn't count. They don't matter. Which is why the reparations movement is idiotic. They've repealed the Voting Rights Act anyway. And they use other groups to nullify your vote. Even though their vote doesn't matter either. I mean, think about it. When, when Bush Jr. was elected... They literally threw your votes in the trash. Literally threw them behind dumpsters. They found black people's votes in Florida, South Carolina, and other places behind dumpsters. Behind dumpsters. So if they don't want to have your vote, whether you vote or not, or whatever you do, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get any money. And it doesn't matter if you vote. They're going to they're gonna make it happen the way they want to happen. Or they want it to happen. 
and please believe if you can look at the stuff that's going on right now with Trump, it's going the way they wanted it to. All Trump's purpose was was the same as Obama. He's the white version of Obama. Obama gave everybody hope that it's just, that the elections are real and that the impossible can happen. Oh my God, a, a black guy got elected. And I put black in quotes. But that magically quote, quote unquote black man it just happened to be Dick Cheney's first fucking cousin. His mom happened to be a government agent. <laughs> and he happened to be raised by a racist white man in Hawaii. Okay, so I mean that's that's what you're dealing with here. That's what you're dealing with here. Like always, the ones running the show, just like the Bolshevik Revolution, just like Mao Zedong's rise to power, behind the Yale Divinity School, the ones running the show are the white Western elite, corporate execs, and unelected department heads who stay in the same positions from election to election. Elections have zero effect on these things. The white supremacist elite run it from top to bottom. This symbolic con job of allowing some random marketed asshole to rule, dominate, and make decisions for you because a bunch of people who press buttons and pull levers is ludicrous in and of itself. I mean, think about it, Jack and Dandies. Do you want to be owned by these assholes? The lesser of two evils? Which master plows your crap hole, the gentlest? Look, man, the reality is you're just consenting to being slaves dominated by the white supremacist parasitic class when you vote. You give your power away by choosing these people who take away your rights. You naturally have under whatever lie they use to impede on your life and natural freedoms. You will gain absolutely nothing at the end of the year. There will be no reparations for blacks. There will be no solution to the farce known as global warming. There still will be abortions. There still will be a massive heroin epidemic in the Midwest. There will still be a massive meth problem on the West Coast. There will still be a massive class gap and economic gap between blacks and other races. The ethno state will still massacre millions of innocent people as well as the U.S. military who also does an insane amount of rapes. And the police forces in America will still be dominated by white nationalists. None of this stuff is going to change. The increasing poverty, any of that. Not only that, they're going to pass more jacked up laws pretty soon. Because what they're going to do is that's when they're going to release the truth that there's a recession right now. They're calling it right now, they're calling it degrowth. It's called degrowth right now. Why can't people find jobs out of college in a, in, a, in a burgeoning economy, although experiencing degrowth? That's the nonsense that they're using. But after Trump's elected, or probably Biden, which is the same shit, what they're going to do is they're going to announce that there's this massive fucking recession. And what they call it, the W dip or whatever. There's a massive recession. And everything's screwed up, so we got to pass this BS law and that BS law and this BS law to fix everything. And when the smoke settles and the dust settles, the only people that will benefit are the West Princess oligarchs. And the rest of you will be sitting with your pants down and your butts bleeding. Just like you do every year. So have fun with your fake-ass elections. Bitch.